Hey, so welcome to a camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE and the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Now, both of these smartphones are fan edition smartphones from Samsung, and I thought, given that I've got both of these, I thought I'd do a camera comparison between these two smartphones because even though the S20 FE is more than a year old, it's still very popular, and for someone who is maybe in a pickle between picking either the S20 FE or the S21 FE, I thought this camera comparison would sort of help them decide whether or not the camera benefits are going to be worth the extra money they pay. So this is front-facing video footage coming from the front-facing cameras on both of these smartphones, and we're recording at 4K 60fps on both of these smartphones, and hopefully you'll be able to judge if there is any difference between these two cameras with the front facing uh, sort of video. Again, I will be switching audio profiles throughout this video so you guys get an understanding of the microphone quality. But with that said, let's go ahead and go for a stroll. I'm gonna downsize to 4K 30 FPS and then 1080p 30 FPS so you guys get the whole picture. All right, so I've literally just gotten up from that chair you see behind me and this is 4K 30 FPS footage from both of these front facing cameras and this is sort of an overcast day very different from the typical weather you get in Dubai but I think it's the perfect condition to film any sort of video and you get this natural uh, cloud sort of sunlight coverage and that gives you that soft box effect which everyone just loves so this is 4k 30 fps and you guys can pretty much judge the stabilization between these two cameras as well i'm just walking around and hopefully the 1080p 30 fps sample should give you more clarity so let's go on to that one next. All right, and last but not least, this is 1080p footage from the front-facing cameras. Now, there is a difference in the level and quality of footage that I see on screen, but I don't know if that translates to actual differences. That's only something I'll find out once I see these samples side by side on one display. But I think you get the general gist between both of these front-facing cameras when it comes to video capture. What I'm going to do next is move on to video capture using the primary camera sensors. But before that, let's go ahead and see what these two cameras are made of when it comes to their primary cameras. Both the front cameras are 32 megapixel sensors and even the primary sensors are completely identical. There's a 12 megapixel wide, 8 megapixel telephoto and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens on both of these smartphones. So the only real differences you'll see between the two will come down to how software is optimized and the differences in chipset. The S20 FE is running on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chip, whereas the S21 FE has the Exynos 2100, so completely different image signal processors. All right, so with that spec rundown out of the way, we're starting with 1080p 30 FPS video capture from both of the smartphones in a nearby park and you'll be able to judge all things stabilization, audio quality, as well as dynamic range retention. Of course, the sunlight is gone today, so it seems like a very cloudy day, not something that you'd find in Dubai, like I said. But nonetheless, I think it'll give you a good overall insight as to how these two camera smartphones perform when it comes to quality in different lighting situations. Now, this is using the 1X lens on both of these smartphones. What you can do at 1080p 30 FPS is zoom out all the way to the ultra wide lens. So this is gonna be ultra wide angle footage from both of the smartphones. And as you could see, the transition between 1X to 0.5X was completely smooth. So that's something that's good on both of these smartphones. Just me stepping in here, there's actually a better transition when switching lenses on the S21 FE compared to the S20 FE. So I just thought I'd point that out. And both of these smartphones uh, replicate that. So there's no different in that aspect. What we're now gonna do is actually move to 3X zoom. So the cat you see in front of you, Let's go ahead and see if we can capture the cat at 3x zoom using these two smartphones. So this is 3x zoom on both of these smartphones right here. And from what it looks like on screen, I feel like the S20 FE is actually doing a better job when it comes to zooming in. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a recurring theme throughout this entire camera comparison, but that's what it looks like. Now we're going to move all the way to the maximum that you can on either smartphone. So that is 12x on the S20 FE and it is 12x also on the S21 FE. Now the S21 FE you get a quality of something like that with the cat and we're just going to move around so that you can see the cat here as well. 
And what I'm going to do in post is actually put both of these side by side to get a better understanding of which camera smartphone does the better job at its maximum zoom range at 1080p 30fps, which is 12x as you can see on screen. So now we've bumped up the frame rate on both of these smartphones. This is still 1080p footage coming from these smartphones, except it is at 60 FPS. So compared to the previous footage you saw, things would be a lot smoother. And one thing that's different between these two smartphones at 1080p 30 and 1080p 60 is that you cannot dynamically switch to the ultra wide lens at 60 FPS. Now, these smartphones are running the latest software updates as of recording this video. And for the time being, you do not get that option. And I believe that option is only reserved for Samsung flagships because I do remember the Galaxy S21 Ultra having that feature. But nonetheless, this is regular quality 1080p 60 FPS using the One X lens. What you can, however, do is zoom all the way. So before I show you ultra wide, let me zoom all the way to 10x and see if there's a difference between these two. This is 10x on the S20 FE and we're going to do the same now for the S21 FE as well. If it lets me, there you go. So this is sort of the side-by-side -side view of 1080p uh, 60 FPS zoomed in fully. You can only go up to 10x on these two smartphones as opposed to 12x on 1080p uh, 30 FPS. So we're just gonna focus on those two trees on the S20 FE first, and then we're gonna move around to the S21 FE so you guys get to see which one is doing the better job when it comes to detail at this resolution. So as it turns out, 1080p 60 FPS using the ultra wide angle lenses on either smartphone is not possible. So we've now moved over to the ultra steady video mode that you get on both of these smartphones and i am moving at a slightly faster pace just for you guys to judge if this ultra steady video makes a drastic difference when it comes to quality and just overall footage uh capture so i am moving with the 0.5x option as you can see and what i'm gonna do is go for a quick little run so this is not even a run i'd say a jog i'm jogging around this park and I'm holding the cameras pretty steady. So it's not gonna be a massive sort of challenge for the smartphones, but I think it'll give you a good overall insight as to how the smartphones perform. So I'm back to my walking pace now, and this was at 0.5x zoom. What's uh, sort of unique is that you can go all the way to 1x. So I believe this is the ultra wide. And if you go to 1x, this is what the camera quality on either smartphone looks like. And once again, this is a brisk walk from myself. And what I'm gonna do now is do the same thing I did with the last uh, zoom range, which is a brisk run. So this is the running aspect. And as you can see, the stability is a bit better than regular, but is the S21 FE doing a better job than the S20 FE? That's something you'll have to let me know down in the comments below but yeah this is pretty much the difference between these two smartphones all at 1080p video right so you know how it is we're gonna test out every single mode and this is 4k 30 fps video coming from these two smartphones and to be honest i think the s21 fe has the slight edge here just from me observing both of these displays the vibrancy, the dynamic range, everything just looks a bit better on the S21 FE, but that's just my opinion coming from what I see on the display. Once again, the toggle between the wide and the ultra wide is present here, so I can go 0.5x and 0.5x on both of these smartphones. And now this is 4K 30 FPS video coming from the ultra wide angle lenses of both of these smartphones. You can see Dubai frame in the background, which is one of the most iconic landmarks here in Dubai. If you ever come here, do visit it. I know a lot of my friends have, and they've said really, really nice things about the frame experience. To complete this, I'm gonna go to 3X zoom, so 3X on the S20 FE, and 3X on the S21 FE as well, so you guys can judge the difference in quality between these two smartphones, and whether or not there is an actual big difference or is it a minuscule difference that really doesn't make a difference 
um, in the choice you make on which smartphone to buy. Last but not least, we're gonna go all the way to whatever the max zoom range on either phone is. So this is 12X once again at 4K, and I presume it is the same for the S21 FE. So we're gonna focus on this tree. The S21 FE, it looks like that. And for the S20 FE, there you go. There is the same tree, and this is what it looks like. And once again, I'll put them side by side so you guys get a better reference as to which one has the better quality. And as we learned, 4K 60 FPS is up next, and you are restricted to filming at this resolution only using the primary lens on either smartphone. So there is no difference. Once again, the 60 FPS option has been reserved only for Samsung's flagship smartphones, which we're probably going to be seeing in the next couple of weeks anyway. But yeah, this is 60 FPS, 4K resolution, and the view is pretty outstanding. So this is what it looks like. And I am gonna zoom into the frame to give you guys um, an understanding of the zoom range on these smartphones. Let me just get up this mini little hill. As you guys can see, this is the view and this is the frame. So I presume this is gonna be 10X zoom all the way to the frame. Yep, 10X zoom on the S20 FE. We're gonna do the same thing for the S21 FE, if it permits, there you go. So S21 FE on screen at the moment, S20 FE on screen right now, and I'll overlay them side by side so you guys get a better understanding of quality between these two smartphones. Right, so with all of those videos out of the way, I thought I'd put in this bonus video for you guys as well. This is portrait video from either smartphone, the S20 FE and the S21 FE. And I think both of these smartphones are doing a pretty good job given the lighting conditions out here. Uh, it's pretty nice for filming. So I think both of these smartphones are more than capable of using this portrait video feature. But with all of these videos out of the way, let's now get into some camera samples during the day. And then we're gonna wrap up with some nighttime video samples towards the end of the video. We're starting off with some close-up images and right away you're able to tell that both of these smartphones have that vibrant Samsung color palette. I'd say the S21 FE is a hint cooler while the S20 FE is warmer. Color differences aside, the S21 FE also seems to be capturing a bit more minute detail and keeping the overall sharpness of the image better compared to the S20 FE. Images are hard to distinguish in good lighting conditions, although for perhaps photos involving highlight management, the S21 FE has that upper hand as seen from how it's managed that sunset. Although for general highlight tones and details, it seems to be pretty neck and neck. But here's where some differences do show up. This is taken on the wide lens whereas this is on the ultra wide and both smartphones do display a color shift. The shift is a tad bit more noticeable on the S21 FE if you look at the monument which seems to have this greenish tint but in terms of overall detail retention it seems like the S21 FE is doing the better job. It's a similar story for wide and ultra wide samples in different scenarios as well. Although when zooming into objects the tables turn at 1x 2x and even 3x you won't notice too much, but at 5x the differences do creep up, especially when you crop into the image. 10x, 20x and 30x all go in favor of the S20 FE and I think there's two reasons. One, perhaps over time the S20 FE software is more optimized and two, the image signal processor on the S20 FE's chipset is superior. For selfies though, it's a different story altogether and this is something I've noticed even in front facing videos. The skin tones on the S21 FE are just miles better compared to that of the S20 FE and that's definitely my preference but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. As we move to low light, I thought I'd throw in some transition images. Let's take a closer look here which seems to go in favor of the S20 FE. This is the same scene using the ultra wide lens which when inspecting closer shows that the S21 FE has the upper hand. So again, a very mixed bag. For more nighttime images, let's first check detail without night mode. It seems to be fairly equal with night mode almost enhancing the entire image on both of these smartphones. I do think the S21 FE has more detail but it also has some lens reflections, which isn't a coincidence because it's present in this next scene too. Again, the effect of night mode is enhancing the 
overall image and upon closer inspection, the S21 FE has the edge with more detailed retention. I actually like how the ultra wide angle lens handles night mode on the S21 FE compared to the S20 FE which gives off some weird looking colors and the end result with the detail is just overall better on the S21 FE. Moving indoors though, the S20 FE seems to have an edge and I really cannot tell you why that's the case. I also have thrown in some nighttime selfies here and while the S21 FE has more detail, it also lights up the screen, which for people like me is not great given the reflection on the glasses. So while I prefer the S20 FE, I'm sure many will like the S21 FE with what it does. Now onto some nighttime videos. All right, so with all of the photos done, we're gonna now start off with video. This is 1080p video at 30 FPS from either of these two smartphones. And um, this is in La Mer. This is another place in Dubai which is really popular amongst everyone who stays here. And this is how it looks like. And let me know what you guys think about the quality of the videos that um, are coming out of both of these smartphones down in the comments. I don't want to get into zoom capabilities with the cameras here because as it is the lighting conditions aren't the most ideal. What I am going to do is switch to the ultra wide angle lens so do that on the S20 and do that on the S21 and you guys pretty much can tell side by side which of these smartphones is doing a better job and which one is worse off. But yeah this is the ultra wide angle lenses on both of these smartphones and I'm going for a quick walk just so you guys can um, judge the stabilization at night. I shouldn't think it should make a difference, at least as far as I know, but uh, if it does, well here it is. Now the last thing we're going to do is only move up to 3x zoom, so this is going to be 3x on the S20 FE and 3x on the S21 FE. and. Uh, you guys can pretty much judge which one is doing the better job. As far as I can see, I feel like the S20 FE has an advantage here when it comes to zoom. But once again, let me know down in the comments. Let's now move on to 1080p 60 FPS. Okay, so for 1080p 60 FPS, I've come to an even darker area uh, because 60 FPS video tends to do the worst when it comes to low light. So I thought I'd come to a dark area just so you guys can differentiate between these two smartphones like we learned with our daytime uh, samples these smartphones cannot do ultra wide 60 fps so this is the maximum at which uh, they can film this is 1080p 60 fps i'm just gonna pan here next to a boat uh, and you guys can tell me which one is doing the better job from the images and video I see on screen uh, the S21 FE definitely has the edge with noise but that's just my perception here this is in the trees I think the detail in the trees is better retained on the S21 FE as well but yeah do let me know once again and with that we're gonna wrap up with our last video which is gonna be 4k video samples all right now here's a look at 4k 30 fps footage from both of these smartphones i feel like 4k 30 fps hits the sweet spot when it comes to you know regular filming whether that's social media so i think this is the footage that needs to be compared the most in my opinion as to which smartphone is doing better of course at 4k 30 fps you do get the option to move to the ultra wide angle lens so that's exactly what we're gonna do first on the s20 and then on the s21 fe and you guys can judge um, quality as well as the overall stabilization that both of these smartphone cameras are managing to capture. I'm just going to uh, move towards the beach side in a darker area and you guys can once again differentiate between the two. From what it looks like on screen here, it feels like the noise level on the S21 FE is just way, way higher than that of the S20 FE. Um, but yeah, this is what the side-by-side -side between the two smartphone cameras looks like. We're going to move to 4K 60fps and that is going to be the last of these tests. Finally, 4K 60fps on both smartphones. This is the highest resolution and frame rate that either smartphone can capture. 
and this is what it looks like um, once again as you might be able to um, sort of tell uh, there is no ultra wide angle 4k 60 fps option but that's just the limitation of this smartphone as i said and yeah this is pretty much the end of the primary camera videos let's now conclude with some front-facing selfie videos at night okay so here we are with the front facing test once again 4k 60 fps starting off with these two cameras right off the bat i think the brightness and the level of detail on the s21 fe is a lot better in this case we are going to down zone to 4k 30 fps and let's see if that makes any sort of a difference between the camera samples all right so this is 4k 30 fps from the front facing cameras a lot brighter from both of these smartphones i do feel like the s21 fe still has the edge here but aside from that um yeah this is pretty much what the front facing video quality would look like in a fairly dark environment from the front facing cameras on both of these smartphones and last but certainly not the least this is 1080p 30 fps from both the front facing cameras and this is what things look like so these are pretty much every single aspect about these two cameras now let's go on to the conclusion and what i think about the differences between these two smartphones all right so the moment you've all been waiting for this is the conclusion between the galaxy s21 fe and the galaxy s20 fe camera i feel like both are pretty neck and neck there's not a marginal or a drastic difference between either and there's no new features as per se they're both the same sensors they pretty much perform identically i think when it comes to software optimization the video capture capabilities of the Galaxy S21 FE, both using the primary as well as the front facing, is just overall better than the Galaxy S20 FE uh, from the images and results you've seen. The zoom capabilities on the Galaxy S20 FE are still better, especially when you're zooming into videos as well as zooming into subjects. We saw that with one of the examples. Although when you look at them side by side, I feel like highlight retention is better over here. Sharpness when it comes to subjects that are a bit close by is also better on the Galaxy S21 FE. But there's no picture per se that could not be edited in a manner that could present uh, be presentable from either phone. So the S20 FE pictures could be edited to look like the S21 FE and vice versa. I feel like the night mode on the Galaxy S21 FE also sees an improvement, especially with the ultra wide angle lens. If you saw those images I showed, uh, the ultra wide angle image actually produced some really nice accurate colors, which the Galaxy S20 FE couldn't. So overall, if you're looking to buy the Galaxy S21 FE, Purely from a camera enthusiast perspective, I feel like it is a good value for money device. Although if you're just looking for basic camera needs and just overall performance, the Galaxy S20 FE camera is still up there when it comes to comparison between the S21 FE. And that's pretty much my conclusion. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments in terms of other camera comparisons, and I'll be sure to bring them over to you guys if it's possible on my end. Thanks for watching. This was Vabhav, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.